Hey planner babes, I am doing a little plan with me video. Haven't done one of these in a while. Um, this was my planner spread from last week. We have sticky notes. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes, right? But for the first time in quite a few months, I actually picked out some sticker books and we're gonna be planning inside of the dashboard happy planner with stickers. Now I do usually plan with at least box stickers, but I haven't been in the sticker kind of mood lately. We're doing it today. We're going to go with it. So I have the Girls with Goals sticker books. I have two of those. That's the Girls with Goals um, accessory book. And then I grabbed the Biz Babe one. Not sure if I'll use that one or not, but I thought it'd be cute. So let's go ahead and start planning. One sticker book and we are done. That was pretty quick. So let's actually plan now and write some things in. So today is Monday. It's actually already 3.40. Um, and I have hit all three of my goals today. First, we actually need to write down my goals for the week. So daily or weekly big three are here. I am going to... Um, I'm going to take just a second. I'm going to look at my goals that I have for the remainder of the year and then kind of do some brainstorming and assess what my weekly three need to be. Then I'll come back and we'll actually plug it in. All right. I reviewed my goals and I have the top three things that I want to complete this week. The first one is to set up a new YouTube channel. The first one is set up a new YouTube channel 
I need to follow the content calendar that I planned for. And I'm trying to get two weeks ahead on YouTube and on Instagram so I know what's coming down my pipeline and what I need to do. So that's number one. And I'm setting up a new YouTube channel. Just a heads up, guys. I will have the new YouTube channel link down below. But this channel that you're watching this on is specifically for planning. The new YouTube channel will be for scrapbooking. Um, the second thing is regarding fitness. Um, so it's going to be workout daily. Um, track my meals. Not calories or anything. I just want to start with writing down what I'm actually eating throughout the day. Also, my kid is hanging out in the shed with me. So if you guys hear anything in the background, that's him. And 64 ounces of water daily because what does it mean to stay hydrated, right? I mean, I'm the coffee queen. The last one is I also started an Etsy shop. And so that's what this one's going to be about. So I'm just going to title it Etsy. I need to um, brainstorm digital content. And add two listings this week. So for the Etsy channel that I, or Etsy shop, it's not a channel, I'm used to doing YouTube. For the Etsy shop, this is where I'm doing digital planner stuff, goal setting workbooks. I have some scrapbooking templates on there, um, a December daily workbook. So I'm trying to get all of these things set up onto Etsy. I have three listings right now, which feels like a lot. <laughs> I mean, there's Etsy channels on there, right? That have hundreds of them. And I'm over here like, whoa, I got three listings. It's exciting. I share that process with you guys in case you're, you know, wanting to start an Etsy channel. It starts out slow, right? So these are titled, well, numbered, not titled. These are numbered one, two, three. That doesn't mean that number one is my number one goal. And that number two is number two. And you know what I mean? There's not, it's not like in order of importance. These are just the three things. Each of them are equally as important. And what I do is I take these three things and they get broken down into three daily tasks, micro tasks, right? How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So little things that I can do every single day that's going to help me move forward to reaching this goal. So today, today is a little bit different. Today I worked mainly on number one. But I'll have number one done and number two completed today on here. So the first one on every day minus, well, no, not minus. Here's what I was thinking. Wednesday and Thursday, I work at the hospital. I work 12 hour shifts. I typically don't work out on those days, but you know what? I can actually come home and ride my bike, even if it's for 10 minutes. So I have a stationary bike, so I can do that. Let's grab a couple of stickers real quick. We can just do the little check marks like I had before. I think that'll be fine. So we have our little check marks. And we'll just stick one on each day. Now, when I work at the hospital and I work 12-hour shifts, I don't set three daily tasks like I do. I come home from work. The goal is to work out. Um, you know, we'll cook dinner, eat, clean up, shower, get ready for the next day. Like that's all that it is. So on each one of these check marks, the first check mark, I'm going to write in workout. And then here, this one here, these are my work schedules for, like I said, for Wednesday and Thursday. Tuesday, I actually need to um, visit a home health patient. So I work at a hospital and I also see home health patients. And then today we have Cub Scouts. So I'm just going to do the time in the box and then put cub scouts out here to the side now today i focused on the new youtube channel so we're going to write in here set up new youtube channel and add to content calendar now i did not go full bore in my content calendar and add a ton of things i just added um, a few things inside of there. This is, again, small things that I can do. Setting up the new YouTube channel actually took me a while today. I had some technical difficulties. Um, the last one for today is actually this right here. It's getting my planner set up for the week.
And then I'm going to put underneath of it my catch-all, which is this planner, my fitness planner, which we'll do shortly, and my block scheduling planner. So we'll get all of those set up. Now, I didn't write over here anything about actually setting up my planner, but setting up my planner helps me reach all of these goals so I actually know what I'm working on each day, what needs to get done to help me move closer to those. So that's why that was very important for today. So for the rest of the week, Tuesday on through Sunday, I'm not going to sit here and work on, you know, my daily tasks because what I like to do is either in the evenings or the morning of, I will review what did I do yesterday? Is there anything that I need to pull over to today that I didn't get completed? Or did I complete everything yesterday and now I can move on? So um, it's kind of, excuse me, evaluating that and then planning for the day. So I'm not going to write anything in there. Now this right here, this little sticker says the most important project you will ever work on is you. And I'm a big personal development person. I think that's why I've been in a funk lately is because I haven't been doing my personal development. So this week, we're going to do that. There's two things I'm working on right now. First one is Video Ranking Academy. This is an online course that I purchased to learn how to be better at making YouTube videos, how to serve you guys better. So that's one of the things that I'm using. But the other thing is I'm going to read a book this week, and I have not read in a long time, but I'm going to pick out a book, and I'm going to start reading a little bit every single evening um, even if it's just for 10 or 15 minutes, but I need that. Now, I don't know what book I'm going to read yet, so I will pick that out and then write that in there once I figure that part out. These two lists up here, this part's a little tricky because used to, when I used to um, plan all of my content in here, I would actually plan out my Instagram post, YouTube, all that stuff. I would have a list for content and I would have a list for personal, but now that I use Asana, um, for my content calendar. I'm not actually sticking that stuff in here. So I'm not really for sure what I'm going to use both of these lists for just yet. So for now, I'm not going to title them. We're going to leave them. And as the days go, or even the week, I'll decide how I want to do that, do those lists. Um, actually, let me take that back. This one, let's do a general to-do list. So day specific items over here, general things over here. And that is going to be my dashboard planner. So that's my catch-all. Let's hop into my fitness planner and plan inside of it. I'm actually going to use the same stickers for all three of my spreads this week. That's kind of cool, right? We need some boxes. So one sticker book, well, I guess two if the accessory and the sticker book, but one sticker book for the entire week. So I'm covering up the days of the week so we can rework this uh, spread a little bit. So it's a teacher planner. It's set up for five days in a week for a teacher. I need the seven days. So we're going to turn these into separate categories and then we'll redate it at the top. That makes me sad. I'm out of those boxes, which I do go through boxes pretty quickly when it comes to my planner spreads. Okay, different categories. So in this planner, I wrote down workout every single day. But do you see how I didn't get specific? This is where we get specific. That's a catch-all. That's a general overview of the day, most important tasks of the day. This is me breaking that down even further. And here in a few, I'll show you guys my block scheduler, which is how I break things down into like being super, super detailed. So first thing I'm going to do is go Monday through Sunday on here, and then I will uh, put categories down in those boxes. All right, so this spread is done. Here's what I did. Over here in the categories, we have workout. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday, I will do a bike ride. For the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got choked up there. For the other days, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, 
I will have to get on. I do beach body programs. So I'll have to get on there and see what my workouts are this week. So breakfast and lunch is this category. So I have a B and an L for each day. So I can write in if I eat breakfast, if I eat lunch, what I eat. Same thing here, dinner, snack. So we have a D and an S, dinner, snack. And then this one says hydration. So we have water and coffee. And I like to track how much coffee I'm drinking because I actually drink too much coffee. And then if I have like a diet do or something, I'll just write that in there as well. This here says, what did I make happen today? And I initially started with what went well today, but I'm not trying to just see how the day goes. I want to make things happen. That's why, you know, we're planning. That's why we do these things is so we can actually accomplish our goals. So what did I make happen today? And I can chart, or, uh, chart. <laughs> it's my nurse brain. I got to chart this. That's uh, where I can journal about what I made happen today. So there's my fitness spread. Now, last but not least, we are going to work on my block scheduling or time blocking. This is where I will actually set out chunks of time to complete the tasks that I want to do. So let me grab it. So here's this. And first thing I'm going to do is this. See these two purple boxes, the lighter color box, I'm going to write in Asana. That way I every single day I'm checking my Asana calendar. The darker purple is going to just say workout. And I'm writing workout in multiple places because I will literally avoid it like the plague until I get into that habit of doing it. I've actually been working out now for a few weeks and it feels really, really good. So I like actually checkmarking that box as well, but write it everywhere if it's something that you want to do. I think I'm just going to do a schedule up here. What I was going to do was write down my top three, but you know what? I will just look off of this every single day. I'll actually write it out here and then Here's where I will plan the time to do those tasks. So like I said, today's Monday. Most of today's already gone. It's now 4.09. But I already, I already had today planned out in my mind. I just didn't write it inside of my planner yet because I knew I wanted to film this video. But let me show you how this works. So this morning we was up at 7 a.m. So I'm going to write in, get Levi ready, which is my kid. So I got him ready for school and myself. So I had seven to eight for that. Um, from eight to nine, actually, I did, I finished getting ready. And then I also picked up at the house. So I threw in some clothes in the washer. I um, cleaned off the countertops, that kind of thing. And then from 10 to 11.30, I sat down and I did charting today. Ugh. And I knew this morning I had to do that. I already had it planned out in my head that as soon as I come out here into the shed, I was going to sit down and get all of my charting done. So I got all of my charting finished. And then from 12 until I started this, which is um, a little bit after 3, that's where I worked on the uh, YouTube channel. I had to move con like it was a mess. So I'm just going to write here, set up new YouTube channel. And then once I, it's already, I started then filming on this one and I didn't actually have a time plan for what time I was going to start this. I just knew I wanted to film it, but we're going to say I should be done here in like 10 minutes. So let's just go till 4.30. So we're going to write in film PWM, which just means plan with me. So I film that. After this, I'm going to edit this video and then we're going to go to Cub Scouts. So 630 is Cub Scouts. And then I'm going to spend this time here. Edit and schedule. YT stands for YouTube video. And then after that, I'm going to hang out. I'm going to read my book and do my workout. So we're going to put hang out, workout, and read, plus dinner. I guess I could write dinner on there, couldn't I? Dinner. Now, typically, I don't wait until the end of the day to write this stuff in. This is what I would do in the morning. But I wanted to wait to show you guys how I would do this. Now, one of the biggest tips that I have when it comes to block scheduling your day is you block schedule it, you write in what you what you want to happen, but then you go in with a different color pen and you write in what actually happened. Because 
sometimes what you plan for isn't actually what you end up doing, right? That's why I say to take a different color to write that in. I don't need to for this. I mean, normally I would. I would write in with a different color of anything that was changed or um, if something took longer or if it was less time, that kind of thing. But I'm not going to here just because I intentionally waited today to show you guys how I do this um, process. Now I can go ahead and check off Asana because I did do that. Oh, but that's it, you guys. We have my block schedule ready for the week. We have my catch-all planner ready for the week. And we have my fitness planner ready for the week. Like, what? Who am I? I have not sat down to fully plan like this in a while. I've just been sticking with just my block schedule. Um, I mean, you guys seen my... Uh, my planner from last week that just had sticky notes on it, right? But this is it right here. These are the three spreads that I'm using for the entire week, plus Asana, which is a um, project management tool, but I use it as a content calendar. So question of the day, do you guys want me to do more videos on block scheduling? Is that something that you're interested in? Do you want me to maybe take a week and film every single day? Say, for example, in the morning of how I block schedule my day? And then come back in in the evening and review what got wrote in red. <laughs> if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.